Okay, today we have a really cute little projector. This is a, uh, just a regular eight uh, projector and uh, it's really neat. It actually will do uh, eight and super eight, uh, both. I just have, a, I happen to have a, a three inch reel of, of regular eight, but it does both. And um, it's cute. You see here, you, uh, you have to use a three inch reel for take up and uh, I'll include that with it, but um, if you buy it. Uh, here, this jack here is if you wanted to run it off of AC, it's actually it's six volt DC because it takes it's running off of batteries right now, so it's a completely portable unit. Um, but it's a novelty unit. It, we're not talking about, you know, it's not even a Bell and Howell or anything like that, or even close to that, <laughs> or you know, it's certainly not an Elmo. Uh, but it's cute and it's made. It's it's uh, I believe it's from Hong Kong. It's our Auto Cine uh, eight millimeter. Uh, movie projectors, what they call it, and it has this is the original, you know, it has the original uh, instructions with it. Um, it shows you how to thread it, take up all that stuff, fastening film to wind up spool, um, so all that kind of good stuff. Um, and then it shows you the batteries and the power source and all. That. It takes four D cells, um, and of course D cell batteries are pretty, you know, plentiful. You can get those anywhere. I have threaded it just to kind of show it that it does work. Um, but and also it's at the end of this reel, and I was going to show uh, how to uh, thread it, and then also um, you know what you end up with. So anyway, um, this is this is the unit, and and the light it comes on. It's just one switch, one direction, very simple. The batteries are probably a little bit on the dead side as they it's chugging along here, but um, it's a very faint light. You need a really really dark room to see it because it's only a tiny little light bulb. It's nothing like a big lamp, but it's not designed to be there. It's coming off the reel here. And I'll stop this for a second. We'll take it here. And there we go. So we're gonna, now you have, this is this is your take up reel. Okay, so um, what you want to do is, is switch these and I'll be right back to show you how that works. So you just turn this like this and now it's gonna be on the bottom. So this is, you wouldn't project it this way, just for rewind. And uh, we're gonna put this guy in here, put this guy here. And we're gonna do this. And whoops, and we're just gonna make it very easy and just go down and, and, and be done. So that's how that goes, and uh, right there. Okay, so we'll make sure we're square here, which we are now, and we come up here. You grab this guy here, and we can start him a little bit, and hit it, and now we want okay, and that's rewinding, again, the motor isn't consistent, it might need a little bit of a drop of lubrication, or the batteries are probably failing, a little consistent there, but... That's how you rewind the film, though, so um, it showed projection, and now I'm showing rewind. It's got, like I say, regular eight, super eight selection here. Um, and you got this post here where it fills around. You, auto, you just put the film in. I'm going to show you how to feed it. Sprocket holes, you know, you have this here, and then I always start here. Just kind of feel it down. Feel your way down, you'll feel where it kind of has an empty spot. There it is. Um, and you can kind of feel that. It's it's pretty much right there. And then you have your your uh, your hook there. And then wait for it to come out here. There it is. Now it's it's threaded. But you want to make sure uh, with this, this is going to be uh, a case where you're going to have, um, you know, you want this to be... Uh, caught in the teeth of this guy and they probably do i don't have one they probably do make um actual uh three inch take up reels i don't know this is actually just a regular reel but there's an eight millimeter reel but and that's how you project and that's it It does work. 
trying these new batteries. But you see a picture here on this box. There's a box that comes with it. Um, it's a novelty projector. I mean, this is just kind of a probably something you put on your shelf, or you could at least see what's on your films if you nothing else. Um, there we go, a little sharper. But uh, yeah, really can't see the picture too well here, unfortunately, because of the light in the room here. But I'm chugging along. It takes four D cell batteries, but. Anyway, I just wanted to show this so it, at least you can see it has a, there's a little brighter. Um, it's Niagara Falls, I believe. Anyways, I'm not sure, but uh, who took this or whatever, but that's it moving. Like I said, the batteries are probably not the strongest. They may need some lubrication inside, but it's just, it's six volts, you know. Anyway, so that's the projector. Um, and then uh, now with this, you can, um, you could uh, rewind by hand if you wanted to. Like let's say you just wanted to do that, and you didn't want to wait. Um, you know, to, if you just wanted to kind of spot check your films, and you didn't want to have to, uh, you know, see the whole the reel um, and have to wait for it to finish, and then have to rewind and all that stuff. You can do what I'm doing here, which is essentially just pulling your your film back out, putting it back on the supply reel. And you can even roll it like this because there's nothing in here. The nice thing about this mechanism is it's simple. There's no teeth that are holding it. There's no, you know, it's it's pretty safe for your film too, which is another nice thing about this. If you have film that has, you know, some bad perforations and things, uh, and this, it's not gonna, it's gonna be pretty forgiving. It's, you know, you want good film, but anyway. So that's how that goes. It comes off, and then now you have your reel again um, to store or do whatever you like. So that's that. Um, put that aside, and here's a take up. We'll take that off. I'll just show you this unit. And so here's this slides, and you have your four Ds. And I'll show you that. Um, here's your four D batteries, right here. Okay, just a little slider. It's kind of neat. This is a cover that just slides. And if you want to do a full cleaning or anything, you can take these two screws out. They're just, you know, this is all plastic, so you just have to be careful. You don't want to go too crazy here. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, if you wanted to do Super 8, like I said, they, they do use a bigger um, hub uh, adapter. I don't think you, I, I never ran Super 8 through this, but I know it will work. But uh, if they use, you know, of course, the bigger hub. These are the sub sides for regular 8. Um, and you can use, you know, this, it doesn't matter. This can be used uh, the same for regular or Super because um, they're both 8 millimeters. So it's just a matter of, you know, since it's your take-up reel, it doesn't matter. Um, your supply reel is all that matters. So this this probably will work with uh, super. I just don't have any super singles here just to even put on here to see, but it'll, it'll work fine. Um, and again, like I say, um, here's the back. It's a cute little handle. The back, it's auto cine. It's got a little bit of discoloration here, but um, auto cine. And uh, there's another screw there if you wanted to take this cover off. Um, and, you know, it's, it's really, um, it's a cute little novelty projector, like I say. Um, it's something you're not going to, you know, it's not it's not an Elmo. Um, <laughs> it's not a Bell and Howell. You're not going to use it to uh, transfer your films to, you know, in a digital format. Uh, but it's good. You just want to at least see what's on your films, um, you know, in a sort of a, you know, not a crude matter, but just in a, a very simple matter. The, you can see my hand. You can see the size of this. My hand is, is it's about the size of a, you know, maybe two hands wide by one hand uh, long here. So it's really, really, uh, you know, reasonably, um, it's a very cute little reasonable size. So um, it's really something that can be used uh, really anywhere. And in, in, in portability may be a thing that you just want to take somewhere and, you know, kind of uh, where there isn't any power, maybe, you know, camping, I mean, I guess, or what, <laughs> whatever people do. But um, there's a, a neat way to, to have it so that you don't have to have power. And if you do want power and give you more, probably more of a consistent speed and stuff like that, you have your, your powers right here. This is uh, six volt. And I believe it's, um, you know, center pin is, is positive and then the sleeve is negative. So the two, it's a two contact uh, standard, um, you know, uh, plug that would go in here for any, pretty any, pretty much any six volt power supply you can use with this, I would think. So anyway, that's the, that's the unit. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know, but um, be happy to help. And like I say, this is, I want to say year, um, I'd say this is probably mid seventies build, you know, it's probably, 
you know, and everything went to plastic. I mean, it's, of course, it was plastic, but Hong Kong. Um, I want to say it's probably, yeah, you know, mid to late 70s, I would think, kind of, you know, towards the uh, the end of the format, um, where he has still had dual, though, a lot of dual projectors still, you know, couldn't be before 65 because Super 8 wasn't out yet. Um, so anyway, uh, it's, it's, but it's not that old. I wouldn't say it's, I'd say if I had to guess, I'd say it's more like 75, maybe 72, 73, 74, something like that. Probably 75, mid, mid to, you know, early to mid seventies is what I would, um, uh, put this as, put this at as far as, um, the vintage, uh, how old it is. Um, uh, like I say, so it's, it's more of a novelty. It's probably more of a collectible than anything else. I mean, I don't know if you'd really want to use this, um, as a, anything more than just as a collectible, as a conversation piece, um, put it on your shelf or, you know, just, or yeah, after you look at what you have, um, you know, reels wise, some things you don't even want to keep, some things you want to restore, whatever. And it's a good way to do that cheaply. So anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and uh, hit the like and subscribe button and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.